Hello, folks. Welcome to another show in the blink of an eye with yours truly, Benjamin Valdez, a.k.a. El Capitan, from Pueblo Tires and Service, your family car care center. Well, folks, uh, we're delighted to be with you today. And today I find myself here with uh, Ernesto Pena. He's an office administrator instructor at South Texas College. Mr. Pena, thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. You got it. Well, you know, it's been a while, but we've, uh, on the blink of an eye, our show, Mr. Pena, and I think you, you've been a... Uh, uh, on our show once before. Yes, uh, yeah. But you know, the pandemic came and kind of put a stop to everything, but we're thankful that we're, we're back on the on the roll again, and uh, we're thankful that we can come and visit with you. And uh, we hope that in the near future, we continue to do more interviews with uh, a lot of the faculty here at uh, South Texas College, because one thing that I've, I've uh, realized and I've appreciated is what you all do for the community with the young people, yes. teaching them, educating them. And uh, if you're looking for a job, you know, more than ever, you need an education education. Everything has changed since the pandemic. Uh, if before you thought you needed an education, now it's even more important. And uh, at Pueblo Tires, uh, we're, we're proud to be an essential business uh, where we stayed open all this time. Uh, thank God. And uh, we've been trying to keep your cars on the road. And more than ever, I believe your cars are very important. Other than our homes, our cars are most uh, expensive investment that we need for our families. And uh, we just want you to know that at Pueblo Tires, again, we're here to help you. Uh, we've been in the business now, Mr. Pena, for 49 years. We're coming up wow. on 50 years, thank God. And uh, But again, this program is sponsored by Pueblo Tires and Service. And the objective of this program is to bring you positive information of what's happening around our communities. Because uh, I know every time we turn on the TV, something terrible is going on. But here at South Texas College, they've been, they've been at it. And uh, today we're going to talk to Mr. Pena. So Mr. Pena, tell us a little bit about yourself. Again, let mm -hmm. the folks know out there. Uh, how long have you been here, and uh, uh, how, how's life well, treating you? <laughs> well, <laughs> Go ahead. Well, I've been with the college. Uh, it's been 12 years. I've been teaching with the office administration program, uh, so I'm an instructor. And what we do is uh, we, we train office professionals, mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's a very in-depth training. You know, we train them with the uh, Microsoft Office, how to use Microsoft Word, uh, Excel, PowerPoint, um, Microsoft Access. Um, and we also do hands-on training uh, with the, um, the office equipment as well, so that way the students are able to, to interact with, uh, with the equipment as well and learn how to properly, uh, how to properly use it. And Mr. Pena, you know, uh, at Pueblo Tires, uh, I myself work in an office environment, um, mm -hmm. and so I see all these different stations that we have there. We have the payroll, we have the credit department, HR department, uh, you know, and then there's the office uh, administrator, the office manager, so forth. So there's a lot of moving parts. And uh, I think most companies, most businesses require that kind of a environment, uh, whether it's a, you know, a tire business or a, uh, another type of business, it, it requires administrative organization. Now, these courses that these students are taking, obviously they're gonna prepare them to go out into the real world, as we say. Right. We call it realville out there. Uh, here, <laughs> yeah. you're in a classroom, and it's a hands-on and because uh, yeah. you know we've uh, you know we hire people uh, by the way Pueblo Tars is looking for people just so you know uh, we're always looking for good people technicians whatever you can apply at Pueblo Tars and Service or look us up on shampoozy.com now you're preparing the students to go out there into the real world I had an opportunity one time Mr. Pena uh, before the pandemic I was at your other campus mm -hmm. and uh, they asked me if I could speak to some of your uh, student body there there was uh, some kind of a graduating class or an incoming class and I said sure I thought it was going to be about 50 of them. No, there was about a couple of hundred kids there. Wow. And I said, <laughs> I told them, look, it's, it's a good thing you're educating yourself because out there in the real world, in Realville, if you don't do your job with enthusiasm, you will be fired with enthusiasm. And uh, that's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. But what you're doing here and uh, is preparing them when they go out there, whether it's at Pueblo or at any other business, they require a lot of those uh, processes that you just mentioned. Now, this hands-on. How long are these courses? If you could explain mm -hmm. that to us. Uh, well, the, the course is a, it's a 16 a week course uh, that they that they take, and um, you know it's 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 uh, it's been a little challenging, you know, with the uh, with the pandemic exactly. and everything. But uh, we were able to to make a, a smooth transition uh, to go virtual, you know, at at the peak of the uh, the pandemic. pandemic. Yeah. So well, I can't imagine. I mean, I'm sure you had to make a lot of adjustments. Right. You all 
must have had a lot of, uh, uh, what do we do now, you know? Yeah, that, yeah. I mean, La last I, year we were, we were uh, our, our uh, program was totally online. Uh, online. Uh, but uh, this, uh, this fall semester, um, we, we've transitioned into uh, some face-to-face -face classes, and uh, it's, it's going rather well, you know. Um, uh, the students have adjusted, and uh, our faculty members have adjusted, so. Uh, Amen. Yeah. Did, did you notice maybe a drop-off? Did, did students drop off or drop out or stop when this happened? I mean, because it affected the whole world, obviously. Right. I mean, well, I think, I think what happens is it, it affects each uh, student a little differently. Right. Um, and then, you know, you, you do have that, that student that, that is impacted by, by, by COVID, you know. So, you know, uh, as faculty members, but also as, um, you know, caring human beings, you exactly. know. Exactly. Uh, we're going to, you know, work with the, with the student and, and make adjustments. Right. And I know several several uh, programs at the college um, have uh, adjusted to that and, you know, worked with the students. And That's great. That's great to hear because, you know, like you said, this pandemic, it's a worldwide thing. It shook the world. And um, like I said, we're thankful at Pueblo that we were able to maintain. But just like yourselves, we had to make adjustments. You know, for a while there, we weren't allowing uh, – uh, well, people weren't coming to the store, yeah. you know. Uh, yeah. We yeah, offered curbside service. Uh, we said, if we need to, we'll come to your house. Whatever it takes. Uh, but gradually, people started to, you know, once they said, hey, well, now, you know, you can go out there, wear masks, and this and that. So all this back and forth, the point is that, you know, we, we're thankful that we're here, and we're thankful that we can continue to serve the community. I'm here with Mr. Ernesto Pena at South Texas College, and uh, he's an administration instructor. And uh, we're going to continue our talk with Mr. Ernesto. Ernesto in, a, in a, a little bit, but we're going to take a break right now. We'll be back in the blink of an eye. This preventative maintenance minute is supported by Pueblo Ties and Service. Are you making a summer getaway plan? Good for you. On any given day, there's over 125 million cars in the road in the U.S., meaning your car is literally one in 100 million. Having your vehicle properly serviced before a trip can go a long way in keeping your family safe on the road. That's right. Here are a couple of the many services we offer at Pueblo Tires and Service to help you get the most out of your summer getaway. Oil change. Oil lowers friction to help keep your engine cool. It also keeps the intricate engine parts moving smoothly. When oil is old or dirty, it's more sticky, scratchy, which makes your engine run hotter and wear out parts faster. Regular oil changes are so important. Protect your investment. And at Pueblo Tires, we offer financing options up to 24 months to pay and no credit needed. That's right. Look us up on Shampoozy.com. Dance! Welcome back to In the Blink of an Eye. I'm here with Ernesto Peña. Uh, he's an instructor here at South Texas College on, on the Pecan. What's the address here, Mr. Peña, by the way? Do you have the address? Because I don't yeah. know. I know it's Pecan. Yeah, it's uh, 3201 uh, West Pecan Boulevard. West Pecan Boulevard. I know you all have two campuses. The other one's over there by the on the south side, um, Military Road out there somewhere. Uh, yeah. There's another yeah, campus, absolutely. right? Absolutely, the Technology Campus. Technology it's Campus. And I've visited there before, too. But it's been a while. But we're thankful that we're back. And we want to continue, eventually, here in the near future, continue to uh, do this type of uh, interviews with, with uh, some of your other colleagues in the South Texas College. And again, I have, uh, you know, I've got some relatives of mine, grandkids, and uh, they're getting ready for college. They're getting ready for, I know you all teach welding as well over there at the other campus. Right. Yeah, yeah. so again, they have a lot to offer here. Absolutely. Mr. Pena, again, thank you for letting us uh, be here with you. And uh, you've been here, you said, 13 years? Approximately? Yeah, tw 12 time, years. 12 years, so tw time flies, right? And Absolutely. We talked a little bit about the adjustments you made with uh, COVID mm -hmm. and how it affects students in different ways, but uh, uh, for the most part, uh, you guys continue to serve, continue to offer these classes. Uh, when somebody gets out of high school, uh, what is it, what are what, one of the requirements, what are the requirements if they want to come here and, and learn about office administration? I mean, other than graduation, is that is that a, a must, or can they come in here with a GED? And yeah, they can they can come into the college uh, with the GED mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you know register and then um, take our classes uh, with office administration. So we, we do offer a, a one year certificate in office specialist mm -hmm. and a one year certificate uh, in legal office specialist. Okay. And then from there they could uh, transition into our associate's degree, which is the administrative office assistant uh, degree as well. Right. Yeah. You know uh, again from my background and just what I 
see there at Pueblo with our own office. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, we, we even had to make adjustments where we used to shuffle paperwork. We've gone pretty much paperless as much as possible because, you know, again, when the pandemic hit, you don't want to touch this, you don't want to touch that. And uh, today's office administration process, at least there with us, uh, mostly we've got pretty much paperless. You know, everything's uh, yeah. is filed away, it's scanned, but it's filed away somewhere out there in the, you know, file land somewhere. Right. But uh, I, I mean, I'm from, uh, you know, I'm from the days when you used to have a notepad, right? Right. Well, now we have a tablet, which is a glorified notepad. But everything's electronic, everything has to be you know done that way now and uh, they learn all that here through this process here yes and uh, the now I know that on, on such a you know well with us we've got 13 locations and every independent store you know at the end of the day they have a sales report and they get a everything everything has to uh, balance out that's a that's a, a balancing act in itself we have a our you know he's our numbers guy we call him and everything has to match and paperwork has to be right has to be and whenever they find mistakes it throws everything off mm -hmm. so when you're telling me about hands-on do you all put things in place like that where they kind of are, are you know they're like in an actual environment of a business what do you how do you do that I mean if you could explain that uh, well yeah um, the, the teaching is uh, so like for example uh, for we teach I'm teaching a, a Microsoft Excel mm -hmm. okay yeah so they'll have to compose a spreadsheet similar to what you might do in, in the workplace right um, and also apply uh, formulas as well yeah um, to to make those uh, those calculations and, and and, and learn how to uh, do the formatting as well to to format the uh, the spreadsheet. Right? Yeah, we have we have a, an office manager and he's uh, he's very uh, fluent or very advanced with the spreadsheet Excel. Mm -hmm. And when he came aboard, you know, we have a sales report every day, and it, it's got line item by line item. And he's very he's very gifted at it because he came and changed everything, and he made it so much easier to read and understand so our managers can manage better on a daily basis. Because right. there's a lot of formulas. Absolutely. And, and he explains, he, he sends out a report once a month for every store and their sales and it goes line item by line item. And he gives advice or comments whether, hey, you can do better here, you did this, whatever. So it's very important and very technical. Absolutely, yes. But it's very useful. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, so they're gonna learn some of those processes here. Yeah. Yes. Well, sir, uh, again, we thank you for allowing us to be here. And, uh, we hope that you continue to do what you're doing, serving the community. Uh, what, what words would you have for the young people out there who are maybe thinking about going to college? And mm -hmm. Tell uh, them, sir. Well, um, I, I would suggest uh, coming to South Texas College. And, um, you know, it's never too late. Um, it doesn't matter, you know, how old you are or, you know, even if there's a pandemic going on, we do offer the, uh, the virtual uh, classroom. So come see us and we're looking forward to having you in the classroom. All right. Well, there you go, Mr. Ernesto Pena here at South Texas College. Uh, Mr. Pena, I uh, appreciate your time and uh, for, for what you're doing. I, you. Let me ask you, are you originally from the Valley? Yes. You are? Okay. I'm from uh, Rio Grande City. Rio Grande City. Yeah. We have a store in Rio Grande City. Uh, Is that the Rattlers out there? Yes. Are you still living in Rio Grande, Grande or no? Right. Uh, no, I, I reside here in, in the McAllen. McAllen area. Yeah. Well, sir, uh, again, thank you for, for what you're doing, and uh, it's the, we wish you, you know, success and health, and may God bless you and, and, and you and your, and your uh, colleagues here at, at South Texas College, and thank you for allowing us for Pueblo Tires to bring you this program, and uh, also, by the way, uh, Mr. Ernesto, you have a car, right? I do. You do? Do you have a car or a pickup? I got a, a Ford pickup. Ford yes. pickup. Um, well, if you've never done it, uh, if you've never visited us, I have. We, we're there to hopefully we're doing they the do right a great thing. job. You, you come see them; they'll, they'll, they'll set you up. Uh, you know, you know you we, we, we mean that with all sincerity. We, we yeah. might we're not perfect, but we we do try to serve the community the best we can. We understand the need of a car uh, for your family because uh, we have families too, and we need to drive to work as well. And you know, this this pandemic shook the world, and every time that happens. You, 
if, if you look at history, it changes the way people shop. You know, their mentality of shopping changes. And uh, again, I think a lot of people are still, some of them are still skeptical about, you know, public transportation or flying or whatever. And they wanna say, you know what, I need my car, man. So we're there to help you keep your car in good running condition and, and to advise you. And on and, and, and that note, we also offer financing options up to 24 months to pay and no credit needed. Again, Mr. Ernesto Pena, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. God President. bless you and keep it going. All well, right. folks, we're gonna take one more break and we'll be back in the blink of an eye. This preventative maintenance minute is supported by Pueblo Tires and Service. Keeping your engine cool is a critical job. Without it, the engine melts into a solid block. It helps keep the water pump, radiator, hoses, and liquid coolant working to protect your engine from excess heat. Coolant exchange makes sure your coolant can do its job keeping the engine cool. It also gets rid of any acid that builds up in the coolant, keeps the engine from locking up or boiling over, and helps prevent corrosion. Fresh coolant has chemicals to help slow any rust or corrosion, so your radiator will live longer too. Let our trained technicians at Pueblo Tires and Service clean your system of old, tired, dirty coolant and refill it with the correct new coolant for your car or truck. And at Pueblo, we offer you financing options up to 24 months to pay and no credit needed. That's right. Look us up on Shampoozy.com. Dance! Well, welcome back to In the Blink of an Eye with uh, Benjamin Valdez, a.k.a. El Capitan from Pueblo Tires and Service, your family car care center. Well, we just had an a interview with uh, Mr. Ernesto Peña uh, here at South Texas College, uh, Office Administrator, Administration um, Instructor, and now we have Ms. Hassel, who is also in the Office Administration uh, Teaching Department. Ms. Hassel, thank you for having us. Thank you for inviting me. Well, we're happy to be here, Ms. Hassel, and uh, we've, uh, I think we've interviewed you in the past, mm -hmm. before the pandemic kid and uh, we're, we're thankful that we're here and and that we could meet up with you again yeah. and uh, so tell us a little bit Miss Hassel what has happened since the pandemic hit how I know we talked to Mr. Payne and some but tell us a little bit about your experience what you've seen uh, what the pandemic did and, and how you all uh, you know uh, readjusted and, and just tell us a little bit about what you've seen since then well actually when the pandemic hit our uh, everybody I think God everybody was freaked out and yeah. so what happened was our enrollment went down uh, whereas we still tried to convince students that we were okay w mm. for them to still keep coming back uh, I was here uh, so students would come in little by little and so um, but we have kind of gotten back into motion we we went in and we have some face-to-face -face classes we still have some virtual classes but we we are doing okay that's good that's good and yes like you mentioned when this happened everybody Everybody was in what's going to happen next you know everybody was we didn't know um, we were thankful at Pueblo that you know the first week when it happened it was like a ghost town mm -hmm. and nobody was in the streets everybody was supposed to stay home yeah. but little by little you know and now we're at this stage mm -hmm. and uh, you know I think you would agree Miss Hustle that you know we can't live in fear we have to do our part uh, you know yes. be, be cautious but at the same time we, we got to continue doing our jobs and serving the community and uh, Miss also the the they said the drop in enrollment and now they're gradually coming back mm -hmm. uh, mr. Penny had mentioned and I know this for a fact because even our, our own families and our own employee status we had a few employees that actually got sick mm -hmm. uh, but thank God they recovered we didn't lose anybody uh, probably in your in your uh, world here maybe some of your colleagues got ill uh, maybe not and but uh, we just hope they're doing well mm -hmm. uh, but this again this was a worldwide thing nobody knew was going to happen and even to this point I think <laughs> I think there's still a lot of unknowns yeah. but we're here and uh, Miss Hassel uh, so Miss, Mr. Penny and I talked in with you uh, I, I know you have a lot of things going on here uh, besides the training you're also involved in uh, other projects uh, right. if you want to talk a little bit about that but tell us again how long have you been here again I have been with the, the institution for 30 years 30 years I, I want to clap to that <laughs> 30 years congratulations been, yes with the office administration program it was actually one of the first programs uh, that was uh, the first degree that was here at South Texas Community College which assisted the pro which assisted the institution to become South Texas Community mm. College 
I was here when Annie Richard, Annie, uh, Richards came in and signed the bill wow. to convert. So yes, it's been a long time, and we've seen a lot of different changes, not just the pandemic. We've seen a lot of different changes, and we have readjusted, but I think the hardest change was the pandemic, like yes. you said, mm -hmm. but we've had to adjust right. and learn that the pandemic is here. We right. need to move on. Right. Yes. You know, um, I'm not a doctor by any means, or I'm, I'm I just read in here, but uh, like I said, even the flu, the flu's still here. Yeah. It hasn't gone away. Mm -hmm. uh, we just had to, we just need to do what, you know, as for wisdom, how can we have a better lifestyle? Take care of ourselves. Unfortunately, there's a lot of underlying conditions that people suffer from, whether it's high blood pressure, cholesterol, you name it. Uh, do whatever you need, do whatever you can to help the cause, you know, with mm -hmm. your own health. Uh, because we only have one body. <laughs> and, you know, it's a blessing, Ms. Ms. Hazel, for 30 years to serve the community how you're doing. I myself have been at Pueblo for 26 years. Mm -hmm. So I, I never imagined, you know, being there that long. I didn't wasn't planned on it mm -hmm. but um, you know when you enjoy what you're doing I think it's not really a job it's 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 mm -hmm. uh, it's, you know, it's it feels like a uh, how should I say like a responsibility but with a, a privilege mm -hmm. and, and you teaching this way I'm sure you've seen how many students in 30 years I don't know <laughs> tons, of them, tons of them I have graduated a lot and I think the best part of my job is when students come in they need to be trained and one once they get trained, the best thing to see them is graduate. Yeah. I have students who are still administrative assistants. I have students who have started with an administrative assistant or an office specialist. It depends. Mm -hmm. And they have gone to school, but they had a paying job. They, had, they continued going to school, and now they have bachelor's degrees, master's wow. degrees. And so I'm very proud of the fact that I was, I, I was a part of that. Amen. And I saw my students change their lives you know because they also allowed me to help them right. change their lives right. and that's the best part of that's my a, job what gives you the satisfaction yes. of what you're doing yes and I, I've seen a lot of that from um, way back when up until currently right. yes now are, are you from the valley originally I am you are yes so well again uh, I'm, I'm from the valley too and I've seen the valley grow mm -hmm. by leaps and bounds yes. you know I'm back from when Everywhere you look, there was citrus trees. There's, that's right. <laughs> that was citrus I remember trees. That. Now everywhere you look is concrete, you yes. know, and uh, how how it's grown yeah. and technology has, you know, changed so much how we live today. Mm -hmm. uh, and we need technology, but also we need training to use yes. it properly. And one thing that we say at Pueblo is, you know, use the technology, but don't 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 allow the technology to use you. <laughs> but everything you said has a, a, a big point that we're going to talk on, but we're going to take one more little break. We'll be back in the blink of an eye. This preventative maintenance minute is supported by Pueblo Ties and Service. The question is, do batteries wear out naturally over time? Yes, all car and truck batteries wear out and need to be replaced over time, usually every three to five years or so. It's a good idea to have older batteries checked so you don't find yourself stranded with a dead battery. If the battery or alternator light stays on after you started the car or comes on while you're driving, the battery could be running down. Have your battery checked as soon as possible. Eventually, all batteries wear out or won't hold a charge and will need to be replaced. However, even a new battery can go dead if the headlights or parking lights are left on. Electrical system problems such as a faulty alternator can cause your battery to go dead. Not sure where your battery stands? Stop into any of our 13 locations at Pueblo Tires and we'll check its health free. And at Pueblo, we offer you financing options up to 24 months to pay and no credit needed. That's right. Look us up on Shampoozy.com. Dance! Welcome back to In the Blink of an Eye with Benjamin Valdez, a.k.a. El Capitan from Pueblo Tires and Service, your family car care center. Look us up on shampoozy.com, 13 locations to serve you. Uh, from Brownsville all the way to Rio Grande and up in Allison, Kingsville, Texas, we're open Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Financing options available up to 24 months to pay and no credit needed. That's right. Dance. Okay, Ms. Hustle, what do you want to tell us? 
Well, um, if you're thinking about coming back to a higher institution, um, you really need to think about South Texas College, maybe even the office, I mean, uh, well, just South Texas College for now, and I'll explain why. Because any student can come back into South Texas College. They can start off with a certificate program and not have to take any exam, just come in and register for classes. Uh, as for the office administration, which is the program that we work in, Yes, we train you to work in an office, but we don't hope that's where it's going to stop or unless you want it to. But we also, it's the beauty of this program is that we're teaching you essential skills uh, for any type of job. We have classrooms set up with office equipment. We train you how to use the office equipment in addition to the software. So I think this is a great program, again, because you are not just being taught software, you're being taught the essential skills to get any type of job that you're going to need in the future. Man, thank you so much. Well put. And uh, I can tell you uh, from my side of the world, uh, whether you go work at a, at a tire shop like Pueblo Tires, we're, a, we're tires in service, and we have to use technology. You know, if you think that a tire technician doesn't need to worry about technology, you're wrong, because even the machines have software on them. Uh, our alignment specialists, they have to use software. So technology is part of our world today. I mean, it's just, it just everywhere. And uh, you're gonna learn skills here, but you're also gonna learn how to, uh, you know, realize that without that training, you, you might find yourself lost out there because everybody requires that kind of a know-how these days. Mm -hmm. And a lot of companies like ourselves, we're willing to train you as well, but if you come from a place like this with all that preparation already in your, in your back pocket, hey, that's gonna give you an advantage. So thank you, Ms. Hustle. You and thank you, South Texas College, and on behalf of Polo Tires and Service, we're going to take one more little break, and then we'll be back to, to say sayonara. We'll be right back. ¿Qué, qué? Pueblo Tires ahora está ofreciendo tienda de llanta móviles? Así es. Y lo mejor es que venimos así. Shampoozy, zapatea la mula, que baile. Shampoozy.com. Okay, folks, they say when you're having fun, time flies. We had a great time here with uh, South Texas College Administration instructor, Mr. Ernesto Pena and Ms. Hassel. And right here in my left corner, we have Mr. Olivares. <clears throat> and uh, on behalf of Pueblo Tires and Service, uh, Mr. Pena, Ms. Hassel, Mr. Olivares, a few words. Uh, well, thank you for having me on. And um, if you're interested in uh, getting your education, come to South Texas College. There you go, Ms. Hassel. Thank you for allowing us to be here. And uh, again, please do not, if you need to get a higher education, please come by. All right, and Mr. Olivares. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity to talk to you all, and uh, please come to South Texas College. There you go. And if you need some help with your car, come to Pueblo Tires and Service, your family car care center. Well, folks, I want to leave you with this thought. Have a great weekend. Enjoy your Sunday. But nobody, nobody loves you and appreciates you more than Pueblo Tires and Service and South Texas College. Nobody. Nobody.